we got a lot of work to do. And if things go the way we're expecting, the way we're hoping, we'll have four good years to get a lot more things done. We've made a lot of progress in the last several years. We've got a long way to go. That is South Carolina Governor Henry McMaster. He has won his party's nomination for a second full term. Now, if he wins the general election in November and completes that term, he will become the longest serving governor in the state's history. It is nine o'clock on primary night here in South Carolina. I'm Darcy Strickland, J.R. Barry standing by with more numbers. That's right. We're over here at the big board. Let's take a look at what's going on. You mentioned that uh, Governor McMaster wins that GOP nomination. 84% of the vote right now with 36% of the precincts tallied in South Carolina. Muscle White with 16%. Again, long ways to go, but the AP has already called the race for the incumbent governor. When you go to the Democrat side, somewhat of a surprise here. 36% of the precincts reporting right now. Former Congressman Joe Cunningham with 56% of the vote. Mia McLeod, the local representative here in Richland County with a little more than 30% of the vote and uh, the other candidates not a factor in this. Uh, as we heard from our insider Jim Felder earlier tonight, he thinks that when all is said and done tonight, when the dust is settled, this could be headed to a runoff between Cunningham and Mia McLeod. Right now, if the vote ended right now, if the count ended at this moment, Cunningham would be the Democrat nominee and he would face Henry McMaster in November. All right, moving on to some other races of note, the state attorney general's race, Alan Wilson, no surprise there. The incumbent wins the Republican nomination. Secretary of State Mark Hammond, who first won office in 2002, 77 percent of the vote right now. He has secured the GOP nomination for November. In the race for education, Superintendent Kathy Manis with 33, almost 34 percent of the vote. Ellen Weaver with 22 percent. It looks like that this possibly could be headed to a runoff between these two candidates. Again, a long ways to go. A little less than 35 percent of the precincts reporting. On the Democrat side now, in the race for education superintendent, Lisa Ellis with nearly 48 percent of the vote so far, and Gary Burgess with 31 percent. Orangeburg lawmaker Jerry Govan in third place at the moment with 21 percent. This number is not correct right here, but a number of precincts have reported already. Lisa Ellis, the leading vote getter in that race. In the race for the Ag Commissioner, incumbent Hugh Weathers is on his way to another term in office. As he wins the Republican nomination, there is no Democrat opposition. In the race for U.S. Senate, Republican Tim Scott is going to be running in November. If he is reelected in November, he says that will be his final six-year term as U.S. Senator in South Carolina. Who would he face in November, however? Right now, your guess is as good as mine. It is a toss up between the three candidates. 41% of the precincts reporting across the state. Matthews, Bruce and Jeter. They're basically in a tie right now. 28,000, 28,000, 26,000 votes between the three. This has been nip and tuck all night. We expect it to stay that way through the evening. All right. A couple of races that a lot of people are watching, and that is the congressional districts in District 1. The uh, candidate who is backed by former President Donald Trump, Katie Arrington, right now about 19 percent of the precincts reporting. Arrington with 43 percent of the vote. Nancy Mace, the incumbent who ousted Joe Cunningham two years ago with almost 55 percent of the vote. She had the backing of former Governor Nikki Haley. Again, Arrington the backing of former President Donald Trump. Again, a long ways to go with this race. This uh, margin between Mace and Arrington has slimmed as the night has gone on. It was a much bigger lead earlier this evening, so we'll be watching that race as well. Now, the 7th Congressional District. Tom Rice, as you recall, voted to impeach President Trump. 25% of the vote for him. 47% for the Trump-backed candidate Russell Fry tonight. 41.5% of all precincts reporting. This right now, if it ended tonight, would be a runoff between the Trump back candidate Russell Fry and the incumbent Tom Rice. When you uh, go to the 6th district, let's see if we can do that right now. There you go. The incumbent, the uh, longtime congressman in the 6th district, Jim Clyburn, going to be the nominee again uh, in November. And he will face GOP opposition 
Again, that is not correct. We'll see if we can get that. All right, so that's the latest numbers that we have on the uh, big races that we're following right now. We're going to send things.